Dear guys, Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all of you. I hope you all are well, safe and sound at your respective houses. During this corona pandemic, your beloved alma mater, Borishal Credit College, has arranged online learning program for you. My class is a part of that. Before going to my class, I'd like to remind you a few steps by that we can be safe from this pandemic. We have to wash our hands frequently. We have to use handkerchief, towel, or tissue while sneezing, coughing. We must wear a mask if we go out of the house. We should not neglect if our temperature is high. We should not shake hands and we must avoid wild animals. You know me, I am your Bulbul Gaji sir, lecturer in English, Bursha Cadet College. While preparing this lesson for you, I mainly consulted these books. One is your NCTV prescribed Textbook English for Today for Class 7, Oxford English Grammar, Intermediate English Grammar by Raymond Murphy, Cambridge Advanced Learners Dictionary, which is a very user friendly dictionary. This lesson is prepared for you, Class 7 edits, and the unit is Unit 7 Games and Sports. Look at this picture. What can you see? You see, there are various types of games and sports in this picture. What is our topic? You see here on player, here on player. So we have two players. So today's topic is two players from unit seven, games and sports. After this lesson, we will be able to listen, read, understand, enjoy stories, other text materials, ask and answer questions, write short paragraphs, informal letters, write answers to questions. So before that, we should improve our vocabulary by learning some word meanings. Stout, it is adjective. UK pronunciation is stout. US pronunciation is also stout. Meaning, especially on of older people, fat, and solid looking, especially around the waist. Stout objects are strongly made from thick, strong materials. I bought myself a pair of good stout hiking boots. Attractive, adjective, it's UK pronunciation is attractive, and US pronunciation is also attractive. So it's meaning very pleasing in nature, in appearance or sound, a very attractive young woman. I find this restaurant very attractive. Another meaning is causing interest or pleasure. Spending 12 hours on a plane isn't a very attractive prospect. An attractive offer, an offer with benefits for me. We need to make this debate club attractive to a wider range of people. So attractive meaning, you have several meanings here. It is used in many ways. Next word is entertaining, which is adjective. UK pronunciation is entertaining. US pronunciation is also entertaining. It has some meanings among them, funny and enjoyable and entertaining story or movie. His books aren't particularly well written, but they're always entertaining. You see, The Adventures of Tom Sayer, you should read the book. Another meaning, the 
activity of inviting people to your home and giving them food and drink. We do a lot of entertaining. This meaning is very interesting. The activity of inviting people to your home and giving them food and drink. Amazing and enjoyable and entertaining movie. If you haven't watched this movie, The Lord of the Rings Trilogy, you may consider watching this movie. This is really an entertaining movie. Next word is sofa, adjective. This is a formal word, sofa. Here's pronunciation is also sofa. And it's, it has some meanings. Two of them are one, serious and calm. In fact, the whole wedding was a sober affair, no dancing, just people standing around in groups and chatting politely. Anthony was in a very sober mood. I scarcely heard him laugh all night. Another meaning, not drunk or affected by alcohol, widely used meaning. Are you sober enough to drive, Jim? I had no wine all evening, so I was stone cold, completely sober. Now, let's read the text of the book. Pele, you see, Pele? Pele is widely regarded as one of the greatest football players of all time. In 1999, he was voted Football Player of the Century by the IFFHS. IFFH stands for International Federation of Football History and Statistics. In 1999, the International Olympic Committee, IOC, named Pele the Athlete of the Century. In his career, he scored more than 1,200 goals. Thus, he has become the top scorer of all time. In his own country, Brazil, Pele is a national hero. People call him the king of football, the king Pele, or simply the king. He is the all-time leading scorer of Brazilian national team. He is the only footballer to be a part of all three World Cup winning scores and the only player in the world to have three World Cup winning medals. Now, we are going to discuss some expression. Pele is widely regarded as one of the greatest football players of all time. Here, Pele is widely regarded as most accepted by most people. Famous, he is widely regarded. That means people of all ages, people from various corner, regard him as one of the greatest football players of all time. Another expression, he is the only footballer to be a part of all three World Cup winning scores and the only player in the World Cup to have three World Cup winning medals. Now, what I want to point here is he is the only footballer to be a part of. You see, when you become part of something, how do you express that situation? This is the situation. I am the only person to be part of this history. So this is an interesting expression. You can use it in your day-to-day -day life. Now, true false. From your reading of the passage, you can take the book and open it at this unit and lesson, and you can check it. So first thing, in 1999, Pele was voted Football Player of the Century by IOC. Do you think this statement is true? Next statement, in the same year, Pele was honored as the athlete of the century. The next question is, he is one of the top scorer in the football world with more than 1,000 goals. Pele is an international hero in his country. He is one of the football players with three World Cup winning medals. Now we are going to look for the answers. 
here the answers are given. In 1999, Pele was voted Football Player of the Century by IOC. You see, this information is, is it correct? Let's go back to the text. Here's Pele was voted Football of the Century by IFFHS. So that one is wrong. So it is false. It was declared by IFFHS. In the same year, Pele was honored as the athlete of the century. This is true. He is one of the top scorer in the football world with more than 1,000 goals. This is false because he has more than 1,200 goals. 1,200 goals. So this is a false information. The correct statement would be more than 1,200 goals. Pele is an international hero in his country. This is also false information because he is a national hero in his country. He is one of the football players one of the football players with three World Cup winning medals. Let's go back to the text. Come here. He is the only footballer to be a part of all three World Cup winning squads and the only player in the world. So this is the information. Only player in the world to have three World Cup winning medals. So this also is false. The correct information. He is the only player in the uh, with three World Cup winning medals. So how, do you, how did it go, this activity? I hope you liked it. So now we have another great player, Diego Maradona. So we have to, what we have to do, we have to read the text and answer it with these words. Now, let's read. Diego Armando Maradona was born in a poor family and so spent his childhood in a slum. However, he proved, you see, from proof, we take proved his football talent at the age of 10 only. Now he is, we have B, so we can use it is. Now he is considered the greatest football player of all time. Then he was voted. Okay, is he both? He was voted FIFA Player of the Century 2. He played here, we have play, so he played in four FIFA World Cup tournaments in 1982, 1986, 1990, and 1994. In 1986, he captained, you see, we have captain, we make it part, he captained Argentina and won, you see, won. Win its past form is won the World Cup. He became the tournament's best player in 1986 and won the Golden Ball. His second goal with England in 1986 was voted the goal of the century. In that match, here we are using both again. He was voted the goal of the century. In that match, he dribbled through six English players to cross 60 meters, 66 years. He also won the golden ball at FIFA Under-20 World Cup in 1979. In 1990, Argentina became the runner-up in the World Cup under his captaincy too. This is why Maradona is a living legend, not only in Argentina, but also in the whole world. I hope you also like this activity. Now we have some homework for you. What you have to do, you have to fill in this blank spaces with words from this activity. You have to do it alone at home. This is your homework. What you have to do, you use your own vocabulary to finish this fill in the blanks. I'm reading it on November 10. Diego Armando Maradona dashed his final testimonial match in Buenos Aires. For those unacquainted with the tradition, testimonials are games played for adhering nostalgic fans in which friends of the honored players jog leisurely around the pitch, allowing him on the moment of. Maradona's testimonial was an all-star affair with 
Munierist, like Bristol stoic Eric Cantona, befitting a player who was once regarded as the best in the world in his prime, Maradona dash, fleet past defenders with sublime is, but now at 41, he was overweight with bad knees and bad angles and had been fighting direction for nearly two decades. The opposing players indulged him, stepped it aside as he lumbered by. He dashed two goals that day, both penalties against Rene Hivita, the former goalkeeper for the Colombian national team, who obliged his old friend by jumping out of the way. Each time the ball hit the back of the net, Higuita and Maradona locked in an embrace. You do it and you try it. If you have any problem regarding this, you may talk to me. So if you have any question regarding any of this, please ask through the comment box or you can have my phone number. You can directly talk to me or you can contact me through Viber. I will try to solve it. Now, finally, I'm at the end of this class. I'm requesting all of you to stay home. This is to face this corona, we have only this weapon of that is staying at home. If we stay home, only then we can avoid this deadly virus. So stay home, stay safe. Hope we will communicate, we will face each other in the next class. Thank you.